Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game 2 of the series in the Coronation Cup 2 between Peter Host and to uh, Top Z. So, uh, the map is mega random this time. It's the choice of Toby. And we have a standard town center start um, for both players. Um, they are bringing in their first uh, food resource. The water buffalo, and in the middle of the map is a, a huge lake. So uh, the map is looking quite weird. And the dif difference between the players, uh, the distance is quite far because all of the troops, if you want to send them forward, have to run um, up, uh, can't run directly to the other side, they have to go the whole um, distance around of the lake. And now we see here Toby is finding his uh, next water buffaloes. He's also dropping a house. He's not housed, that's, that's quite nice, but he had already over a minute idle town center time, and this is why he's now three villagers, four villagers uh, behind. And this is a very bad start because yeah you it's it's now you you have put you so uh, so far behind that it's almost uh, oh, so it's very difficult to compete with the uptime of Peter Hurst. And if you're uh, looking for this, if you have, we have a look to the scouting of Peter Host, he has found a lot of water buffaloes. He has seen the waters there, but he, I think he hasn't seen any fish yet. And <clears throat> so he's scouting to the left now. He has built two houses in a pretty good spot. Instead, if you if we have a look to the other side, uh, Toby has placed his houses really far to. I re re not really for really next to the the town center. This means that all this space he could not use for some farms later, and he should bring his water buffaloes there next to the town center. Um, he's now scouting around, and he is he has the dog already. So I love this, but he's not producing anything with it. So instead, Peter House is pulling the top now. He has more villagers right here. He has a lot of wood, yeah. exactly six on wood, and he's, he will be able to produce some fishing ships and get use of the top. Instead, Toby could have taken this shorefish there and there, and Peter is taking his shorefish on uh, his side, and Toby is, is now bringing his scout back and scouting the same as he could already see and still the water buffaloes are standing here so if oui. this village is now idle he, he should have had the time to bring them to the town center so that the villagers don't um, our island now is housed so that means more idle time of the town center here and he also is not building a lumber camp because he had the dog up so early, and uh, that's the problem with with some water maps and um, the standard town center start. Um, because that means if you're able or if you want to build a, a dock and some fishing ships, uh, you won't have the wood for a lumber camp because your town center is um, otherwise, as a nomad, not um, directly to the wood line. Now he's taking the berries, I think that are two berries, the berry spots, uh, right next to each other. Uh, this is quite nice. Uh, the, yes, so two berries quite next to each other. So that's, uh, yeah, that means he can uh, use the 100 wood for the second mill for something else. So that's a clear advantage for Toby here. He's not bringing in the boars or the rhinos. In this matchup, there are three rhinos. So it's uh, a huge advantage for him here, and that uh, the map generation would be very nice for maybe mongols because mongols have a, a good um, 
hunting bonus though they are taking the food really really fast and now Toby is, is placing down his lumber camp I think uh, it's, it's fine but uh, if you have a look to the population Peter Host will click up to fuel age soon he has already 400 food in the bank and has 24 villagers while, Peter, uh, while uh, Toby has only 15 so that means he had a lot of idle time here. He has the food to click up because he idled his town center so uh, so a lot. And now Peter is even finding the water buffaloes there. That means uh, this are 300 food which Peter could take. But he isn't. Peter has four fishing ships. Toby has uh, three. But uh, he's one in the queue. But he has only 13 uh, villagers. And Peter host is clicking up. Toby is not as far back in the time, he is yeah, 40 seconds behind, but uh, the difference is, is is huge and Peter is now bringing in the, the last rhino, so it should be the third, this is a relic down here, and that means uh, that Peter will have a lot of food because of the fishing ships and of the rhinos and he has some water buffaloes left. Instead, um, Toby is not using a single rhino there and is idling his scout next to town center. So he's not scouting. He hasn't scouted anything of his opponent. He could just guess uh, that the opponent is on the other side, but he doesn't even know exactly where and what is his opponent doing. So if we have a look to Peter, he has dropped his barracks, he is uh, the Bulgarians, though, so the Bulgarians get the men at arms upgrade for free Vashem and that's exactly what he's doing, he's sending the first militias to, to his opponent and also, okay, so we should, should be able to or should take down the scout of Peter, Peter is taking the town center, normally it's, that it's a must have that to be uh, the scout with the town center and when the men at arms arrive they are, aren't as powerful if, as they are without scout to block some running villages because men at arms aren't the hey. fastest troops and now Peter is housed but he has three more men at arms in the queue he is not building any fishing ships but he's building a belly to take down the fish of Toby and that means Soon the only food resource for Toby are the berries, but the berries wow. are easily denied by the men at arms and <clears throat> oh but Toby is is her head that hits on the galley but the men at arms okay Peter is deciding to attack uh, the the dog with the men at arms so and he's even repairing his galley because he was a little bit sloppy there playing with the skelly and, and uh, was taking the first hit and Toby should retreat but and, yeah, he, he couldn't do anything he just can't flee but that means uh, that he's losing his fish anyway so and okay, Peter is housed again uh, what's this Mr. Host? <laughs> and now there are two gullies taking down the other gully and he completely uh, fish fleet, fishing fleet from Miss, uh, from Tubi and if you have a look on the scroll he has almost double the scroll um, yeah one reason therefore is the um, military the water control and uh, the KD if you have a look to KD now he's 5 to, five to 0 6 to 0 because he's killing all the fishing ships and Yes, Peter Host has his scout there. Um, he knows about the berries. Okay, he is now has two men at arms there, um, bringing another um, one man at arms there, and he's just killing all the villagers of Toby. So, this is. Yeah, the game is over. The dog is down, there's a gap. I think a gap in the woodland and now Toby is again building spearmen but the spearmen are eaten by the men at arms the spearmen can't do anything against men at arms 
<laughs> so the men at arms will no. easily wreck the spearmen. Um, if he wants to count with the men at arms, build some men at arms by yourself, but if you're facing the Bulgarians, this is bad because they get uh, the men at arms upgraded like right away. Um, if you know your opponent is going for men at arms, and you know it if you scout your opponent probably, so then Toby could have seen the flags on the barracks or some man, uh, militias this time or men at arms coming forward, go up to fuel edge, go on gold, build an archery range, um, the archers with fletching will take care of the men at arms, but here he just gets wrecked uh, completely. And Peter Host has now even the resources to go up to Castle Age. He has an untouched economy, even bringing back the water buffaloes of his opponent. Uh, that means that he can uh, t uh, take the wood for something else because he doesn't need it for some farms. But again, he has no, uh, no horse collar. He has a double bit axe, uh, which I like a lot because uh, Toby has a horse collar, but no single farm. He hasn't not the wood upgrade, so that means um, uh, this will just shoot. Okay, now his 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 fourteen villages down in the town center. Um, because if he Flash goes back to the berries, there are the man at arms from Peter Host. Okay, now Peter is, is attacking attacking the man at arms. Uh, no, uh, Toby is attacking the men at arms. But there are some low HP men at, uh, villagers here. Yeah. He should send them back, not in the first hey. row like he does. And. Hey. Yeah, the spearmen are a complete waste of resources again, like in the first game. Because spearmen don't do anything. Now Peter is. is almost or is up in a one minute to the next age. He's even doing the armor upgrades for men at arms, so that means he will stay on on infantry because he yeah it's because he gets uh, the upgrade for them to long swords right away. And now that's yeah, just an overreact of of Toby. He, he should make sure that he gets some archers out of the field and now there are some forward barracks from Peter House. Um, at the beginning of the game I mentioned this problem with the lake here, the huge distance you have to cover if you want to send some troops forward. So that uh, Peter sees that, um, yeah, like me, and he solves the problem with just building some barracks forward. So the men at arms are long swords hey. now. Um, yeah, don't have to walk uh, as long as they have done yet, and now the game should be over because Toby has a single village and get wrecked completely. Um, maybe he doesn't know yet, but if you're so so far behind and if you uh, agree that there's no way back for you in the game, you just uh, can go uh, call the GG and quit the game. But uh, I think it's it's good for him to play on to gain some experience, and to s it would be good if he watches the replays so to see uh, the tips and and things he could do better. If we if we have a look to the statistics um, and. Uh, 15 villagers difference and yeah the, the economy Peter was always ahead especially of the fuel age and yes uh, that was the last game in the group stage now we have the game for the fifth place and the two semifinals and yeah I'm really looking forward to this and let's see you there